Woo! We got a special video for you guys today. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another light showdown. Now, how does all come about? Well, a couple of months ago, I was having a conversation with Tommy over at Aqua Ross, Colorado. We were talking about Chihiro's. Then he said this, hey, we got the Chihiro's WRGB2 killer. What? What? You bugging. He was like, yeah, yeah. It's definitely better than Chihiro's WRGB2. That is a bold, bold statement. Chihiro's WRGB2 killer. You know what I mean? You know what I did, guys. <sighs> The Let's Star AQ Z Series. Supposedly better than Chihiro's WRGB2. Well, let's find out. So, in this light showdown, we're gonna compare the Let's Star AQ Z Series with the Chihiro WRGB2. We're gonna compare the design, the factory specs. We're gonna throw it on the tank and see how it looks, see how the plants look. We can play around with the app. Yes, this does have an app, just like the WRGB2. Since this time, the stakes is a little bit higher, I'm actually gonna part test both of these lights. We got a lot to do, so with no further ado, let's crush it. Nothing special about the box, so we're gonna get right inside. You have accessories in here. We'll take a look in a second. Oh, this is a head. This is pretty nice. I definitely love the design on this light unit. The housing feel like all aluminum. The flip side. See, this is a little different. There's no plastic cover on this. It feels like a waterproof film. It's kind of like a rubbery material that they apply directly over the LEDs. Let's get the box open. We have a card. We got some legs. Pretty standard legs. Got the power brick, the rest of the wire, Bluetooth controller. Now let's put this thing together and turn it up. Well, I'm not sure if you guys can see, but the white LEDs are at the top and bottom and the RGB LEDs are in the center. Oh, shh. Woo! Okay. Right off the bat, you'll notice the Chihiro's, it is a smidget longer about the actual light bar. It's a little bit thinner than the Chihiro's. The Let's Start AQZ series is close to three inches. The Chihiro's is about a little more than four and a quarter. The Chihiro's has a plastic diffuser over the light, whereas the Less Star does not. Now, the benefits of the Less Star not having a diffuser is more power would be coming through this light. For the Chihiro WRGB, I'm not sure if you guys can see, they have three rolls of light fairly spread apart. Whereas the Let's Star AQZ series, all the LEDs are pretty compacted together. Now the Chihiro's have 90 RGB LEDs. The Let's Star AQZ series has 66 white LEDs and 66 RGB LEDs, making it a total of 132 LEDs. Now let's check the weights on these. Let's start AQZ series, six pound, 8.4 ounces. The Chihiro WRGB, five pounds, 6.6 .6 ounces. So. The LED Star weighs a pound and two ounces more. In comparison, even though the Chihiro WRGB2 has way less LEDs, both units are at 100 watts. And the price difference between these two, well, at least on Aqua Ross Colorado, they're priced both the same at $249.99. 
close to six inches, close to five and a half. So the Let's Star, it is a wider light, but the LED panel is a little bit shorter than the Chihiro WRGB2. Now, in terms of design, the Let's Star, a little bit more unique. I like the aesthetics of it. I like the gunmetal color. That has always been my gripe with the Chiharos. You know, I feel like they need to update it a little bit. On here, you do have the option of professional, which I believe is the same as the manual mode for the WRGB2 series. We could adjust the RGBs, the intensity. Now the difference is on the WRGB2 is RGB. On the AQZ series, you have the RGB and you have the white light that you could adjust. And you have red, green, boost, fish, shrimp, or turn it all on at the same time. On the AQZ series, you have on off, just like the Chihiros. You have green plant setting, red plant, moss, boost, and polydarium. Now, one thing I do notice is on the Chihiros, and I've always had an issue with this, is when you're trying to adjust each one of these colors, like you're trying to get it to a perfect value sometimes, it would jump a little bit and it will take a couple of tries to get it to a very specific number with the AQZ series of app. You could plus and minus to get it perfect. And of course, both of these have a auto setting where you can set it and forget it, where it runs at a certain amount of time per day, certain amount of power, et cetera, et cetera. Over here for the Chihiros is the auto setting. Over here is called a fast setting. You have sunrise, sunset, we want to turn things off. Gradient, I guess that's the ramp. I would say the AQZ series is the winner out of the two. But then again, you know, you're barely in these apps. You literally just use them one time, set it, and forget it. So with that out of the way, let's, uh, let's throw this on the tank. You kind of have to appreciate the clear acrylic legs on a rimless. It does feel a little bit cleaner versus the WRGB2 with the black metal legs. But then again, the WRGB2 with the black metal legs looks a little bit better on a rim tank. The whole entire top metal housing unit is to help dissipate heat. And the lighting unit is actually just this big. This is the Chihiro WRGB90. You can barely see anything because it's all black. Again, the groove is on the top and a little bit on the side to help dissipate the heat. Now, here's the legs. It just hangs there. Now, mind you, this is actually eight millimeter thick glass. I'm not worried about it. The three rows of lights, that is the Chihiro WRGB, and the four rows of lights is the Let's Star AQZ series. WRGB is a much wider versus the Let's Star. I will be busting out the part meter and testing both of these lights. Now this is the Chihiro WRGB on full blast and turn on a Let's Star. As you can see, the Let's Star, it runs on the cooler side versus the Chihiro WRGB2, just because they have the extra sets of white LEDs. It kind of feels like the Twin Star Light 2. For those of you that do have a rim tank, this is a 40 breeder. This is the WRGB2. This metal stand is pretty sturdy. I'm rocking it, it's pretty sturdy. Now with this, it does sit on the 40 breeder. Obviously, you see the difference here. So does it work for a rim tank? Yeah, but it just feels a little bit more flimsy. But for people like me, we're probably just gonna throw that on our rimless. Oh, and this is the other thing I wanna point out. Both of these units, you can set them up on legs or you can hang them. So this is the hitch for the WRGB and this is the hitch for the Let's Star. One of the other subtle differences, power cord for the WRGB2 runs out from the side. Whereas for the Let's Star, it runs out of the top. So that's what you would see for the Let's Star versus the Chiharos.
wanted to do this test to see if the left star is actually on par with the WRGB2. Get it? On par. To do the test, I got the Apogee MQ200. I'm floored by how much this thing costs. It's ridiculous. Also for this part test, I ran both lights at full power. I have a 90 by 40 by 40 centimeter tank. And I tested the top of the tank, right where the water line is and also on the bottom of the tank. And here's all the points that I've tested on the tank. So both at the top of the tank and also at the bottom of the tank, I tested nine total points from the front to the back, the left to the right, the center. So that's a total of 18 points that I've tested for each of these lights and here's the results. Yeah, the left star outperformed the WRGB2 at each and every single one of those points. For me, I'm not really surprised because what left star is saying is their LED lights actually perform better than other lights with the same amount of power. Is the Let's Star a Chihiro's killer? Killer is a strong word, but they're definitely giving Chihiro's a run for their money. And also, competition is a positive thing because competition leads to innovation. So out of the following categories, design, app, coverage, color rendition, par, and some other miscellaneous things, I feel like Let's Star comes out on top. I feel like Let's Star is a fresher design where Chihiro's WRGB2, it's a little bit plain. In terms of the app, Let's Star Star was thinking about the details and they added the plus and minus so you could fine tune all your setting. In terms of coverage, I feel like your heroes got this one just because it's a much wider and broader light versus Less Star, but the Less Star has enough power to cover your whole entire tank and then so. Color rendition, I feel like this is personal preference, just like design. Some people like it more green and on the warmer side. Some people like it a bit on the cooler side. It's almost like the Twin Star Light 2 versus the Twin Star Light 3. Some people like the color rendition that the Light 2 gives out. Some people like the Light 3 a little bit better because it's a little bit warmer. So WRGB2 is a little bit warmer. Less Star is a little bit cooler. So I feel like that is just a choice. Par, you guys saw the results. Less Star wins in that category as well. And a few other things. Less Star Delight, just because the LEDs are covered by silicon, it's completely waterproof. You could drop that in the tank and you'll be good. As well, the Less Star come with a two year warranty versus Chihiro WRGB, which only has a one year warranty. If you have a WRGB2, it's still great light, use it. I have it still, I'm keeping it. And if you have a little bit more extra bucks, Give the Let's Star a try, the AQZ series. It's priced the same as the WRGB2. Well, thank you guys for watching. As always, if you love videos like this, hit that like button, comment down below, share this video with a friend, and oh, don't forget to hit subscribe. Later.